So let's talk about uh, creating a list of elements in the easiest way possible in codename1. So the easiest, easiest way to create a list is, and we'll use the main form for that purpose here, is to just drag it into place. Uh, yeah. So I'm starting with a blank form. The first thing I need to do is to disable scrollability because scrolling will come from a list. So this is really important. And next thing I need to do is set a proper layout, which is border layout. Now what this will do is that when I drag the list into place, it will occupy exactly the whole screen. No more, no less. Now you can add other elements uh, next to the list, above the list, uh, in various places, but you want the list itself to scroll and not the entire form, which can cause a problem because then um, the form would handle the scrolling in, not a, in a way that isn't as efficient as a list would. So we can drag a list, but that's not as easy. We'll drag the multi-list, which is the easy way of creating what most of us think of as a list. And as you can see, the multi-list already has some elements in it. And the easiest thing in the world is just to go to each one of these elements and just customize them. So I'm selecting it. And as you can see, we, we have lots of options for things to customize here. I won't go into details. But the interesting thing is the list items, which we can just edit any way we want. Line 1, line 2. We can make line 2 something like this. We can add other rows, like, for instance, uh, line 3 and uh, the icon and the emblem and all sorts of other things like that. Everything is customizable. I can add another row and as you can see it has all the options uh, here already for me to customize. So that's cool and as you can see it was edited but normally uh, most of the lists you'll create you wouldn't initialize like this you would want to initialize from code. And that's the interesting part. So we go to the events section and we click list model. Now list model will sorry. Now list model will effectively ah, there we go. Uh, just create a new method here. And as you can see, uh, I already have uh, the list initialized with the proper values and again I didn't save uh, the list so I'll go back and save and go back in here and this should be okay now I just need to add an import for the def default list model which isn't added automatically and this should work for the ba for the basic part for the for the really really simple use case however you want this to be a bit more elaborate than that. So first off, we can create a vector of your data and extract that. And for every entry within the list is generally a hash table. Now, this hash table entry can contain things just like line 1 and this should be and line 2 should be and you can add icon, emblem, all of the things that you saw in the data there are already there so I can just add this to the vector like that And instead of setting this to an array of strings, I'll just set this to the vector. And now if I run the code, you'll see that the list is populated from my code and not from, uh, from the design. So this allows me to preview stuff that's hard-coded in the design, but yet uh, extract data dynamically from code, which is really convenient. Now, you might say, okay, I don't want to name my stuff line 1, line 2, etc. That's why we have these in place. You can say you want to call this first name, like that. 
As you can see, the list automatically updated because no one has first name in place. But if I save this and go back to code, I can change this to first name. And I'll actually see the list rendered with first name and line 2 in this particular case because I didn't change that. So you can effectively customize all of these common names, including the name of the icon, the name of the emblem, and have them come out of the hash tables that you build into place. Now if you want to make this vector persistent and everything like that, then look at the video for storage and, uh, and everything in that regard. Uh, if not, uh, you can bring it essentially from every place that you choose to. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next video.